Hey everybody, this is Raymond. Welcome to Board Game Heaven. I just got this in the mail. It's Dice Throne Season 2, The Battle Chest, which I backed on Kickstarter last year. And it just came with the post, so I thought I'd do a quick unboxing video. So this is a rather heavy box. And as an added bonus, I'll also unbox Season 1, Dice Throne Season 1, which I picked up at Spiel in uh, Essen because I did not add that to my pledge and I thought, you know what, let's just pick it up anyway. So I'll start with this and then I'll do the battle chest to keep things, you know, exciting. All right, so there we go. And season one is already a rather large box. It's pretty, uh, pretty nice, it's pretty heavy as well. So uh, here you can see the uh, components uh, the dice and the cards and the battle uh, mats uh, that are in the box. So let's open that up. So first of all, in the box, here is the rules of play, a rule book. It's relatively thin, so that's good. Not too many rules to have to read through. There are some video tutorials as well, which is always nice. There's a free comic, the components, the turn order, get to know your hero board. And there are some life counter dials here and some combat point dials, uh, tokens for status effects, and the cards, of course, because this is a dice rolling card game where you battle the other players. Some game variants there. And a glossary of some of the uh, terms that are used in the game. Okay. Then we have these player uh, little sheets, the leaflets basically, that kind of have an overview of what they can do. So we've got the Shadow Thief, the Pyromancer, and it has their dice faces on here as well, as a reference. The Paladin, the Monk, oh, the Moon Elf over there, and the Barbarian. And I already really like the comic style artwork. So here we have the player boards, which are made of a thicker cardboard. So we've got the Barbarian board here. And this is all the things that you can roll and it tells you what that does. So here's the monk and of course all the characters have different abilities and different uh, combinations of roles. And there's the pyromancer and they are double-sided. They got some cool artwork on the back. So that's pretty nice as well. Let me just quickly show you the the monk as well, so there's the monk, and the barbarian, and here is the shadow thief, very nice as well, with the artwork, and they're all holding a big die, here is the, uh, the paladin, there he is, he's not holding a die, <laughs> And there's the Moon Elf. Nice colors, really bright. Here are the tokens. So you got one punch board with all of these colorful tokens for the status effects. And here is a nice plastic insert that holds all the dice. And the dice are, you know, nice regular size. Let me see if I can show those a bit closer. I'll just grab a few. And here. And here. So let's see. See, they're not too small, not too big. They're a nice size. And they have a nice and deeply engraved faces. All the, uh, the icons and the numbers are very clear. So that's cool. 
And all of these inserts, they hold their own characters, um, not just the dice, but also their, their combat point counter, as you can see here. So you can turn that dial from 0 to 15. So that's pretty nice. All of the characters have that. They have a health tracker, so that's also very handy to have. All right, so that's just a simple tracker, but it looks really nice, with nice artwork on it. And their deck of cards. And they are shrink-wrapped. And the cool thing is that you can take out all of these trays separately and just hand them to the players for quick and easy setup. So all six have that in here and that's all there is in the Dice Throne Season 1 box. So let's quickly go to Season 2. Season 2 in the box. Let's open that up. Okay, there we go. Nice and sturdy box, and there's a box in a box. Well, that's very nicely and safely packed. Wasn't expecting that. So there it is. <laughs> With some uh, protection on the side, so that's very well done. Oh, the excitement. Another box, also taped shut very nicely. And fortunately, my outer box arrived without any dents or dings or damages. But even if it had, then the inner box would have nicely protected that. So, okay. What have we got? Ah. We've got a promo card set here. So, it includes 14 hero uh, card hero randomizer deck. Okay. There's uh, Season 1 promo cards, Season 2 promo cards... So that's great, which that will complete my promos. <laughs> so uh, there's some new artwork for the new characters. We'll see that in a bit. There is a pack, and hey, that's the comic book. Look at that, that's pretty cool. So let's see, how do I safely open that without damaging the comic book itself? So, oh, it's in a plastic foil as well. So I'll just carefully open these stickers here. Another one over here. Oh, I think I can just pull it out, right? Okay, so here is the comic book. Very cool. Which is nicely protected as well. Uh, here it is. Ooh, there we go. The comic book. And we saw some of this during the Kickstarter. A bit of the story was shown. So here is the backstory of one of the characters you can play, the gunslinger, or the, yeah, I think it's the gunslinger she's called, I think. So that's nice, actual printed comic book. And another bit of protection here. I think I can just um, turn that over get that out of the box and there we go and this is also protected nicely they did a good job packing all of this so hats off to Roxley for doing that nice and safely okay here we go the season through to uh, battle chest Let me just put this to the side all right, Ugh. big and heavy. <laughs> I mean, look at that. That is just as big as the box that it came in. And there's, it's all game, all game in there. So, a nice big black box with the season two flaming die on the front. And it looks like a huge tome, actually. As you can see that, this looks like old pages. Here is the, the inner and the outer cover. And here is the 
the back, the binding of the huge tome. But it is basically a box with a lid, so I'm going to carefully uh, try to cut that open uh, while preserving the cellophane, the shrink wrap. And I am spotting a bit of damages here, but that's the bottom of the box, so that's not a big problem. I'll just use a black marker to cover that up and maybe put some uh, transparent tape over there. It can happen, no worries. So, there we go. It's rather tight. So, come on, I don't want to cut into the box. <laughs> I could just rip it off, but you know, ah, there we go. There. Oh, oh, there we go. And as you can see, this is pretty cool. We saw that during the Kickstarter as well. They had designed these trays for all the characters. And this box comes not with six, but with eight characters. And they were initially releasing these as duo packs. So you, you'd get two characters in a smaller box, and you could get up to four boxes, of course. And the battle chest was the option to just have everything in one big box, which, of course, looks fantastic. And they actually do have double dividers here to, uh, to put this in. Of course, after you've punched the tokens, you'll have to try and fit that in somewhere in a Ziploc bag or something. But that's okay. So we got these, these tokens. And, well, let's just open that up because there's some other stuff in here as well. Okay, so there we go. We have the Rules of Play, which is a different format of booklet. So we have the Rules of Play here, but I'm assuming they will be the same as Season 1. And this is a bit smaller, so it might be easier to bring along, although, you know, you're, you're going to bring all the characters anyway, aren't you? <laughs> so there we go, there's the instructions and... You know, everything is nicely illustrated. And there's achievements here. That's cool. So you can get some extra achievements. <laughs> you can cross them off once you get that in a game. That's pretty cool. You know, you usually only see that in, in digital games on, on Steam and stuff. And this one actually has <laughs> a, um, an analog version of achievements. So that's, that's nice. We have some cool tokens over here. I like those. <laughs> so, double-sided. Alright. We have these tokens, these status effects. So, we have those. Alright, then we have more of those. Another sheet of tokens, and a fourth sheet of tokens. Okay. On to the trays. So, the Vampire Lord, which was unlocked during the Kickstarter. So, let me see, this isn't taped, right? No, I can just pop that off. There we go. And it has, it has Roxley and uh, Game Trays with a Z <laughs> on it. So, here is the character board. And unlike Season 1, these character boards are, you know, a little bit cooler. They're these folded uh, boards with nice artwork and even if you fold them together the, there's still artwork on the front so that's pretty cool the back will look like this also also nice with the you know the creepy background so that's well done so the vampire lord with her abilities and uh, yeah so a little bit cooler i was hoping they would do season one with this design and these trays as well. But I, I asked them at, at Spiel and they said they did not have plans currently for doing that. They were focusing on season three. 
So, you know, that's why I decided to pick up season one after all, because that was basically the reason why I didn't add it to my pledge. And then we have this reference sheet again, just like season one. And this time it has some frequently asked questions on the back here, which is very handy. It even tells you the complexity of this character. So that's pretty nice. With the components that come in this tray. So yeah, we have those. And like season one, we have this dial, the combat points. Okay, nice. Also with a nice different illustration. And the life counter, the health counter. So again, some cool art on the front and these nice spinning counters. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just put that back. And everything, you know, is held inside very well. So, you know, that's, that's nice. <laughs> I really like how they did that. And then we have these, the cards, of course, with a reference card that tells you the turn order, all the phases in the game. And of course, the vampires cards are also in here. And there is room for more, so if you sleeve these, they'll be you know, twice as thick. You can just put them in both of those. So I really like that they took that into account as well. And I'm assuming that these spots are handy for the uh, tokens that you get. And then, finally, the dice. And I have to say, I love the look at these, because these are marbled dice. Do you see that? So we've got m black marbled dice, and they're really nice. They've been marbled with silver, it seems, so not with white, which gives it a really nice and shiny look. And not too busy, so you can still read the faces really clearly. There we go. So that's really nice. Loving that. So five dice. And everything fits back really nicely. Everything has, you know, special slots. And that goes in here. And that just goes on top. And that is fantastic. That's just perfect. And I now see that even there are dividers for all of the boxes. So everything stays in place nicely, as you can see. So we have the Seraph. I'll just go over this a bit more quickly because it's basically the same for all the characters, just the artwork and their abilities are different. Really nice, I really like this one, the Seraph. <laughs> the large avenging angel. And then we have the, her reference sheet, double-sided again, with the frequently asked questions. We have the counter and the health tracker and the cards. And the dice. Let's have a look at these. What are these like? So we have white and they're they're also marbled, but it's barely visible. I'm not sure if you can even see that on camera. They're kind of an off white. They actually let me just hold one against the light. No, they're not translucent. They have a bit of a I don't know. They they seem to be lighter along the edges so it's, it's kind of like they're you know not entirely opaque but just a little bit translucent so the center looks a bit darker than the edges but that could be just an illusion i'm not sure kind of looks that way to me there is some you know swirly stuff going on but it's very subtle it looks like you know the whitest kind of marble without many lines in it. Okay, so that's the Seraph. There we go. Next up is the Artificer. Right, so the Artificer is this kind of like a steampunk invention, you know, inventor dude. And I'm liking the art. This is really like this, this uh, I don't know, 
ca cartoon uh, style, you know, mad scientist laughing over here, <laughs> really digging the art. So, yeah, all of his uh, abilities with artwork on the back, his laboratory. All right, the card with the frequently asked questions. The combat point dial and the health tracker. Also pretty cool. The cards and his dice are also marbled and they're more a gray with, let me just look at that close. Yeah, they're, they're gray with just a hint of a bit of an oily color, you know, the kind of blue greeny, greenish oil kind of stains, which is fitting for an artificer, so that's really nice. All right, bright colors for the faces. Okay, the artificer. Then we have the Cursed Pirate. Cool. Every game needs pirates. <laughs> so we have the Cursed Pirate. And they put her on this one on top. I don't know why. So we have this because... Is she different? Does she have a different board, maybe? Apparently, because the other ones would have... Ah, oh, yeah, she has a double-sided board. That's it. The other ones have the artwork on here, so you have the full image. But this one, she's cursed, so on this side, she's, you know, she looks like a regular pilot, pirate, uh, except for the black eyes with the pink pupils. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. But on the other side, here is the cursed pirate. So different artwork with probably different abilities as well. So that's nice. And then here is her reference sheet with her abilities, the dice, and the frequently asked questions. And again, the combat tracker and the health tracker all have different artwork. The cards. And the dice, and these dice are also marbled and purple. So that looks nice with the skulls and the treasure chest and the, the um, what's it called? A cutlass or a scimitar, perhaps. So we have those. All right. That's quickly show the next one. Here is the Huntress. I think that was one of my favorite artworks what, that I saw on the Kickstarter. I really like her and the, the big tiger that she has. So here is the backside artwork in the jungle. And the front has her abilities. So that's nice. So the tiger is called Nira. So maybe it's a tigress. So that's cool. The Huntress, her board or her card here, reference sheet. Nice artwork. Really, 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 really cool. And she has two dials because Naira also has her own dial. And she can be downed. Oh, and then there's another counter there. So that's that's cool. That's a nice mechanism. You can heal her. And then she becomes active again. So nice. The combat points. And there's both their faces on here. Also really cool. And the health tracker. All right. Cool. So let's see if this fits in here. As well, yes, it does. They have thought of everything. 
so I can still put my sleeved cards in there. So the cards, and there's, as you can see, there's plenty of room. So it's, you know, it's meant to have sleeved cards. The green marbled dice, a dark green with a lighter silvery uh, sheen in there with all these different symbols, the claws and the spear and the tiger. So, yep, and that's the Huntress. Just put that back. No, I think that one doesn't matter. They don't have different lids. Okay, the Tactician who reminded me of Anne Bison of Street Fighter <laughs> with his red cap and cape. So, on the front here, his abilities. He, he even has a tank. <laughs> and some bombers and everything. Really cool. In the uh, tactician's war room. Okay, his reference sheet, frequently asked questions, the dials, let's have a look at the art on that, that's cool as well, okay, the cards, and the dice, let's have a look at that color. So these are also uh, very dark. They're not entirely black. They're like a, a very, very dark navy blue. Uh, so yeah, there's also some hint of the, the, you know, the dark blue oily, oily color that's been mixed into this. You can see that. So, yep, yeah. and he's got swords and stars or medals and flags. And I, I really like how all the symbols are very, you know, thematic as well. So, there we go. That was the tactician. All right. Then we have the samurai. The samurai. who is looking very badass here on the back with a nice a Japanese, you know, river bridge with the trees and everything, landscape. That was what I was looking for. <laughs> and there is his special ability, the, the cards with all the dice, artwork. Nice, okay. His reference sheet. And his frequently asked questions. Difficulty three. Oh, there we go. The dials. And all of these have different art. It's really nice. And then we have the cards. And the dice, which are a golden yellow. They are also marbled, as you can see here, I think. Yeah. So there you go. There is his helmet symbol, a katana, the rising sun. So, yep, we have all those symbols. Cool. Okay. And then, uh, lastly, we still have the Gunslinger, whose cartoon we had. So the Gunslinger, also a very cool character, in my opinion. So here is her background in the, the Wild West, the desert. And the front has all these uh, abilities and artwork. All right, the reference card. 
and she's you know, complexity two, so she's good to start with. Very nice. The dials with different art. Very cool. And the cards. With the turn order card. And finally, her dice. And let's see. So this is again a gray. It's a little bit lighter than what we've seen. Marbled gray with all her symbols. So here is a running character, a bullet, a target, and that's it. So those are the Gunslinger's dice, and I think that's it. So we've had everything in the uh, battle chest. Oh, that should be the other way around. And I really like that, you know, the top of, the, of these trays shows you the character so clearly with this art. It's really, really nicely presented. We have all these dividers here for all the character things. And it's a really sturdy box. It has a, a thick, uh, thick edges. This is even double. Uh, so that's nice. I think they made this one and put that into the outer box. And the side of the box has all these, uh, these heroes artwork as well. So that is also very nice. Dice Throne Season 2. Also, so that's the same. And on the back this artwork. So that is Dice Throne Season 1 and 2 unboxed. I can't wait to start playing this. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Board Game Heaven. If you enjoyed this video please hit the like button below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Board Game Heaven.